People often say that the, you can't game on FreeBSD. Well, I'd like to disagree with that. We've got emulators like ScumVM. We can play games like Mindtest for a brilliant Minecraft experience. And you've got Assault Cube if you want a little bit of harmless, simple fun in a multiplayer shoot -em up But we also got emulation via Wine, and specifically Humara. And that was a great interface to enable easy installation and launching of various different Wine-based games and game portals. And it worked very well. You could run Steam on it, and this is an earlier video that I did. And you could access the Steam library and everything worked just fine. Games ran at full speed and at full screen. And in some cases, I found that the game ran quicker than it did on native Linux or Windows. So when a user suggested that I should look at Soy Imazu, I thought, oh, what's that? Is that a new, new kid on the block? But it turns out that Soy Imazu, if you can excuse my pronunciation, is a new name for Humara by the same author. And it's essentially the same with a few extras. And here on the Codeberg site, you can see all the latest developments, good description, an example of the dependency required, the software that gets installed, and instructions to install and use, which is a lot better than what you'll see in this video. So go to his page, I'll leave a link in the description down below, you can check it out yourself. You can install Soy Amazu, <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying it right, you can install it by PKG, install Soy Amazu. You can change to the directory of user ports, games, Soyamazoo, and then make install clean. And when you do that, you'll get a small piece of text on the screen, which will give you an example of how to get things up and running. And of course, most people will probably use Steam, so it tells you how you can install Steam, how you can uninstall it, and how you can launch it. And on this MWM desktop that I'm using, this Motive Window Manager, I've added it to the menu, which is Soyamazoo, and it should launch. There we go. And the menu is pretty much like it was on Humara. You've got installation, launcher, uninstallation, wine tricks, run an executable in a selected prefix, kill wine in the selected prefix, update, manage wine, apply in a fix, open Soyuzo folder, enable login, other, which sounds interesting, about, and exit. So we click on about and have a quick look. It says, inspired by Lutris, Soy Imazu is a launcher that makes it easy to run Windows games and Windows launchers easily on FreeBSD by providing the required fixes and workarounds. The Windows emulation is provided by Wine and Soy Imazu is licensed under the BSD two clause license. It's copyright 2019 to 2022, Alexander Verikan. All rights reserved. And a good job is done as well. So we'll go back to the menu and have a look what we can see. So we'll go to installation. Oh, and as you can see, actually, there's quite a lot you can choose from. There's Anarchy Online, there's Arc, Discord. That's interesting. Library, Minecraft and Steam, of course. Yeah, there's quite a few there. So we'll press OK, and it tells me that it looks how like it's already installed, and do I want to continue? Yes, I do. My computer is not the fastest, so this, this did take a while. It says, do you want to install and enable DXVK? And this requires a working Vulkan setup. Well, I'm not quite sure, and I don't think I've got a, Vulk uh, a working Vulkan setup, so I'll say no. And it'll go through the setup in preparation. And there we go. You get the familiar Steam setup splash. And I'll just run through this because uh, I'm sure you've done it yourself many times. And wait for the Steam. It may need to launch it actually. I know it's on another monitor, I'll just drag it over. Yeah, so there's the initial uh, account login or make a new account. And again, I'll just uh, skip this. There we go, we're in. And yeah, I'll just drag it over again. So I'm in mean, three monitors, it always appears on the one that you don't want. And hmm, blank at the moment, but I think things are going to get... Uh, Sorted, let's speed through that, and I'll launch it anyway, I'll just try again. Yeah, there we go. 
It's uh, slightly condensed, but it's uh, still usable. This isn't an issue with soya mazoo. This is uh, wine being wine. If anyone's ever used wine, you can understand it can be a little bit temperamental sometimes. Sometimes it can give you different results on the same system when you do things twice. It's really, it does a very good job in what it's doing, but it can be a bit temperamental. So we're just going to start this game and it's Plants vs Zombies. Now, it's not full screen. I think I need to sort of tweak some settings on my end, but it runs perfectly. I had a really good game. I'm not going to show you the gameplay because it's, it's terrible, but it worked perfectly. And again, just a summary of how you install it and the basic instructions to get Steam going. Overall, an excellent job by Alexander and uh, highly recommend you check it out. Just in case you're actually looking on the ports packages list and Humura was no longer there. Now it's, no, it's been changed to Soya Mazu. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.